Hey there, in this video I'm going to show you how you can create this Instagram feed library for your Webflow project all in a matter of seconds. So when you first sign up with FeedSpring, you'll be taken to a dashboard that looks like this, at which point you can create a new feed and you'll have a few options to select from. You can select Instagram, Google Reviews, TikTok, or Dribbble. I'll go with Instagram. And then you can enter the username of any public facing account or just a hashtag. And for this video, I'll go with Webflow. And I'll connect. And then I'll have a few different implementation types. I'll select Webflow. And then it will give me a script so I can copy this and add to the above head settings on my page settings. So I'll go to Webflow, page settings, and inside head tag, I'll paste in that script. I'll save and close. Then I can go back to FeedSpring, hit continue. And then I have a few pre-made layouts I can select from, similar to Reloom or Flowbase. So I'll select this Instagram card grid. I'll copy that component. And then I can paste it into my project. And you won't see anything at the moment in Designer. But when I go and publish, I have this Instagram feed on my page. Now on the free plan, you're allowed one feed and it will show up to eight images. But they also have more components that you can copy and paste from. So let me show you how you could set that up as well. So FeedSpring also has a component library where you can select from either Webflow or Framer and either an Instagram, Dribbble, TikTok, or Google Reviews feed. So I'll go with Webflow and Instagram. And then I have a few more components I can choose from. So I'll go with this Instagram detail grid. I'll copy this component and head back into my project. And I'll go back into designer mode. And I'll delete this previous one. And I'll paste in our new one. And you'll notice we have this new design. But up at the top here it says FeedSpring notice that we need to update the FeedSpring ID to match our unique feed. When you use that component library to paste it in, it has a generic feed ID. So when you publish, you're not you're going to notice a Instagram other than the one you want. So to fix that, we'll go down to our FeedSpring wrapper and in the settings where are these attributes we need to update this value. So if we go to our dashboard, our value is this right here, the INST underscore. So I can copy this, head back to my project, and update this value, paste it in. And I can delete this notice. I'll go and publish. And I have this new version in my page. Now, the one thing you'll notice is that when you paste these components in, they're in pixels. So a quick and easy way to get this over to REMS is to use the FinSuite extension and use the pixels to REM migrator. So I can start the migration. And now my components are all using REMS. So there you go. A quick and easy way to get an Instagram feed on your Webflow project using FeedSpring. Hope this helps. Thank you for watching. Talk to you next time.